Hello and welcome to another episode of Sienna Saints Weekly. I'm your host, B.B. Bush, here to bring you all the news around your Sienna Saints. So let's kick things off by answering last week's trivia question. We wanted to know who holds the Sienna record for points scored in the MAC tournament. The answer was Dwayne Archibald, who amassed 111 points in the 2002 tourney. No one got the correct answer, but don't worry, another chance to win is coming up later on in the show. For now, let's take a look at the MAC tournament. Here's Ivy Spate. Semi-finals time for women's basketball, taking on Iona. Saints in the MAC semis for the third straight season. Looking to become the first sixth seed, though, to reach the championship game. Enter the captain, Lily Grenzi, playing in her final MAC tournament. She sees that light at the end of the tunnel, and she played with fire. 11 first half points for Grenzi. But Iona superstar D'Amico Martinez stepped up as well. She had 14 in the first frame in Siena. They missed some chances in the first and trailed by nine at the half. Grenzi, though, continuing her career performance, really cementing her legacy with this 28-point, 12-rebound performance in the semis. Iona would start to pull away in the frame. Martinez again, Gales up 14 midway through. Siena had one last fight in them, though, and it would come from behind the arc. Clara Soleil and Glada would nail the three. And the very next possession, the junior does it again. Sienna with an eight, and all of a sudden, it's a ball game again. But that would be the end of the Sienna run and the start of Iona's. Player of the year, Martinez, would finish with 25 points. And the Saints season comes to a close. Lily Grenzi plays in her final game, 28 points, 12 rebounds. And the Iona Gales head to the MAC title game for the first time since 2008. Men's basketball in the quarterfinals taking on top-seeded Niagara. Saints looking to make the semis for the 13th time in the last 16 seasons. They're going to need to upset the regular season champions Niagara, though, to do so. Could really define this one as a dogfight. Evan Himes enjoys playing against Niagara. He hits the shot here at the end of the first half, giving the team some confidence down just one at the end of the first. But then Niagara went on a run. They would force 20 turnovers on the day. Antoine Mason finishes and would extend the Purple Eagles lead to double figures. Niagara with all the momentum. But in what would become a theme of the game, Siena answered back. Pretty play here that was started by Rakeem Brookins and finished by Trinity Burdine. Saints pulling closer. All Mac first team player though, Wanye Green would cool off the Saints with this bucket. But every time it looked like Siena was down, they found a way to come back. Brookins leading the charge again. He'd finished with eight. Siena within seven. They would cut it even further with this three from Himes. It's a ball game. 2.42 to go. But Siena was just one comeback short. Wanye Green with the dagger from behind the arc. And the Siena Saints season comes to an end in Springfield. They fall to Niagara, which is their 24th loss of the year. As you've probably already heard, the men's basketball program has decided to head into a new direction with the releasing of head coach Mitch Bonagaro. Athletic director John Dargenio held a press conference to talk about the decision and what they will look for in other candidates. Siena basketball has been very important to this community for a number of years. From the 50s, going back to Billy Harrell and the uh, National Catholic Championship and selling out the Washington Avenue Armory to the 2000s when we won uh, three MAC tournaments, two NCAA games. Uh, that was probably the greatest era, and he, Mitch, was right in the middle of that. We'll start the search process immediately. Uh, we want somebody who can come in here and win MAC championships, recruit the, quite, to the type of students that we want here at Siena, including those that can play at a high level and who want to earn a Siena degree and understand the value that it has. I, I think that the great part about this program is that it gets such support, which leads to high expectations. Uh, and certainly when Mitch took over after that, that run of three straight NCAA championships, the expectations were off the chart. They, they won't be there now. Eventually they will be. So in some ways, it might be a little bit easier for somebody, but it's still going to be a very attractive job. And now it's time for our Siena Saints trivia question. The Siena men's basketball team is now searching for their new head coach. Our question? is how many head coaches has the program had in their history? If you think you know the answer, post it on our Facebook page at facebook.com backslash Sienna Saints. That's all the time we have for this week, so let's take a look at the upcoming schedule. No home games with plenty of road trips for your Sienna Saints. Men's lacrosse travels to Florida to take on Jacksonville Saturday. 
Women's lacrosse is in action at St. Bonaventure also on Saturday. Softball looks for their first win as they take part in the UMBC Spring Classic. And finally, baseball is in North Carolina to take on Charlotte. Of course, we'll have all the news on next week's show. Until then, I'm B.B. Bush. Go Saints! We love our Saints! Saints!